Now, I will try to briefly discuss yung concept behind sa three moment equation. So, doon sa area moment method natin, we have to pick two points. However, dito sa three moment equation, we have to pick three points dito sa elastic curve natin. Now, it can be anywhere. Pwede dito, pwede dito, saka pwede din dito. Or anywhere dito sa elastic curve or sa supports. Yan yung possible locations ng points mo. And so, ito yung important distances. Yung horizontal distance between your point 1 and point 2 is your L1. And then, yung horizontal distance from point 2 patungo sa point 3 will be your L2. Always yan na meron kang dalawang spans if you are using this method. Yung first span mo is from point 1 to point 2. Ito. And then, yung second span mo is from point 2 to point 3, which is ito. And then, yung vertical distance from point 1 patungo sa point 2 is your H1. And then, yung vertical distance from point 3 patungo dito sa point 2 is your H3. Now, medyo may mali dito. This should be 3. Yan. Now, ito yung equation na dapat mong i-memorize so that you can apply this method. And so, let's identify these variables. Yung M1 is yung moment at point 1. Yung moment dito. And then, yung L1 is itong distance na to, Or the length of the first span. Yung M2 is yung moment dito. And then, yung L2 dito, saka dito, is yung length ng second span. And then, itong M3 is yung moment sa point 3. Now, ito yung factors. I-discuss ko yan later. And then, itong 6 EI, constant yan. Itong H1 is itong vertical distance na to. From point 1 patungo sa point 2. And then, itong H3 is yung vertical distance from point 3 patungo sa point 2. And then, itong 6 A1 bar A1 over L1 saka 6 A2 bar B2 over L2. Yan yung factors ng 3 moment equation mo. Now, itong 6 A1 bar A1 over L1 considers the first span. Kaya L1 yung nandito. And then next, itong 6 A2 bar B2 over L2 considers the second span, which is itong L2. Kaya L2 yung nandito. Now, itong A1 bar A1, yan yung area moment about A for the first span. And then itong A2 bar B2, yan yung area moment about B para sa second span. Na medyo mahirap tong intindihin kasi wala pa tayong example. And so let's try to solve for the factors ng beam na to. Now let's just consider this as our first point. And then let's consider this one as our second point. And itong sa ruler support, let's consider this as our third point. Now let's just label our figure. Let's draw a line dito. This crosses point 2. And so itong distance na to, yan, from point 1 patungo sa point 2, Yan yung H1. And then, itong distance na to, from point 3, patungo sa point 2, yan yung H3. And then, itong distance na to, from point 1, patungo sa point 2, horizontal distance, yan yung L1. And then, yung horizontal distance from point 2, patungo sa point 3, that will be L2. So, ito na yung labeling natin sa figure natin. Now, sir, how will we compute for this one? Ito yung gagawin mo. First, you will have to isolate itong dalawang spans mo. And so, let's isolate this one. Magiging ganto. Ito yung span 1 natin. And then, ito yung span 2 natin. Yung L1 natin is equal to 7 meters. And then, yung L2 natin is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2 meters. Now, this is 1M and ito rin. Let's just move this one. Yan. Yung next natin gagawin is we will label this as A and then this will be B. And let's also do the same for span 2. This will be A and this will be B. Now, yung gagawin natin for the first span is to make the moment diagram by parts about A. And then we will get the area moment. And then next, we will treat each span as a simply supported beam. And so itong span 1, this will have two reactions. RA saka RB. And then our span 2 will also have two reactions. RA saka RB. Again, we are treating each span as a simply supported beam. Kaya naging ganyan. Next, what we will do is for the first span, we will make the moment diagram by parts about A. And for span 2, we will make the moment diagram by parts about B. Now, since this is symmetrical, yung value ng RA is simply half ng resultant. Now, meron tong resultant na 50 times 7, which is 350 kN. And so, yung reaction dito is half nito. 350 divided by 2 is 175 kN. And then, since symmetrical yung beam, yung RB is the same. And so, let's try to make the moment diagram by parts about dito sa A. 
And so let's project a line from A. And then let's establish our zero line. So ito na yan. Again, let's first consider our B. Yung moment diagram by part will extend patungo dito sa moment center. About A. Again, this is in KNM. Yung value nito is 175 times yung moment arm na 7 meters. Again, this is positive because nasa right to ng moment center mo, which is nandito. And so, yung counterclockwise moment will be positive. Next, we will consider the distributed load. So, yung moment niyan about dito sa moment center is 350 times yung moment arm na half ng 7. So, that will be 3.5 meters. And so, yung value niyan is 1225. Pagan yan. Negative 1, 2, 2, 5. And then itong 175 times 7, that's equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 then. Now, in order to get A1, barred A1, we need to compute the area moment about A. Kasi ito yan. So let's compute for A1, barred A1. So magmumoment tayo about dito. Now, yung centroid nito, patungo sa height, is 1 third ng 7. And then para dito sa spangel, this is already in the second degree. So yung centroid niyan is... 1 fourth ng 7 or simply b over n plus 2 yung n natin is 2 kaya yan naging 1 fourth let's first consider the triangle yung area is 1 half times base na 7 meters times yung height na 1 to 2 5 and then multiplied by the moment arm na 1 third ng 7 and then minus itong area na to multiplied by the moment arm so 1 third times base na 7 times height na 1 to 2 5 multiplied by the moment arm na 1 fourth ng 7 and so this will be 5002.083 now let's just store this value dito sa A and so to compute for this one copy natin to now let's retain itong 6 and then multiplied by A1 barred A1 this will be 5002.083 and then divided by L1 now yung L1 natin is itong 7 meters so this will be 7 and that's equal to nakastore to sa A over 7 and so that will be 4287.5 now notice nahahaba talaga yung solutions natin if we will form this one and so meron tayong derived formulas para dyan. you can access the shortcut formulas doon sa mathalino.com Now, yung shortcut dito, if meron kang distributed load throughout the whole span, is itong equation na to. 6A1 barred A1 over L1 for a distributed load over the whole span is equal to WL cubed divided by 4. And so, let's try to use this one. Yung W natin is 50. Yung L natin is 7 meters. And then, cube natin divided by 4. Yung value nito is equal lang dito. Kasi this is already a derived formula. As you can see, the same lang yan. And so as much as possible, you have to memorize these derived formulas. But for the sake of the discussion, I'll just show you yung long method talaga. Para ma-internalize mo kung ano yung mga kailangan. Now sir, how about for our second span? Ano yung gagawin? First, let's compute for the reactions. Now yung beam natin is symmetrical. So yung reaction dito sa A is half ng 30 and the same yan sa reaction dito sa B. So yung half ng 30 is 15 kN. Saka dito rin. Now for the second span, we need to construct the moment diagram by parts about B. So magiging ganto. Let's start with this one. Ito yung moment center natin. Now 15 times 2 is equal to 30. And then first degree yan kasi concentrated load to. So this will be 15 times 2 equals 30. And then, for this load, dito na yan magsisimula. And then, yung moment nito is counterclockwise about dito sa moment center. So, that will be negative. Now, yung value nyan is 30 times 1. So, that will be negative 30. And so, now, let's try to compute for A2B2. Itong A2B2 is yung area moment patungo dito sa B. And so, meron tayong centroid para dito. Now, that's one third ng base, which is 2 meters. And then, ito is still one third ng base. However, yung base ng triangle na to is only one meter. So, this will be one third of one. And so, taking moments about dito sa B, we will have yung area ng triangle na to, one half times base na two times height na 30 multiplied by the moment arm, which is one third ng two. And then, minus yung area ng small triangle, one half times base na one times height na 30 multiplied by the moment arm na one third ng one. And so, this will be... 15. And so let's compute for this factor. Copy natin yan. 
Let's copy itong 6. And then yung A2B2 natin is 15 divided by L2. Now yung L2 natin is itong distance na to, which is 2 meters. And so that will be 45. Now meron din tayong derived equation para dito for this type of loading. Kung meron kang concentrated load sa gitna. Yung derived equation para dito is 3PL squared over 8. Now applying this one, we will have 3 times yung P natin na 30 times yung length na 2 meters. And then square natin yan. Divided by 8. So this will be 45. Yung equations na to is nandito sa matalino. You may check this one. Ito yung para about A. Tapos ito naman yung para about B. Now sir, how will we apply this one? You will simply substitute these values, ito, dito sa equation natin. Now let's just copy this one. And then move natin to dito. Now sir, ano yung M1 natin? Yung M1 natin is yung moment dito. Now because nasa leftmost part to, yung moment dyan is 0. Yung L1 natin is itong 7 meters. Yung M2 natin is yung moment at this point. So to solve for this one, let's compute for AY. And so let's take moments about C. It will be AY times 7 plus 2 magiging 9. And then minus 50 times 7 which is resultant nito multiplied by the moment arm na half ng 7 plus 2 meters. And then minus 30 times 1. Set natin yan to 0. And so now we can solve for AY which is 217.2222 Now, isustore ko lang yan sa A so that I can use the exact value. Or gamitin na lang natin tong fraction. 1955 over 9. So yung M2 natin is 1955 over 9 times 7 patungo dito sa point 2 minus 50 times 7 times half ng 7 para dito. And so that will be 2660 over 9. Now sir, ano yung M3? Yung M3 natin is simply yung moment dito sa C. Now, since nasa rightmost part yan, yung moment dyan is 0. And then yung 6A1 barred A1 over L1 natin is itong value na to. 4287.5. 4287.5. And then yung 6A2 barred B2 over L2 is equal to 45. Now, let's just say na yung tanong is to find the deflection dito sa second point or dito sa point B. So, ito yung makukuha natin na distance. Now, notice na this distance is equal to H1 saka H3. Kasi yung point 1 saka point 3 are located sa supports. And so, yung distance nila patungo dito sa point 2 are the same. So, we can label this one as H. Let's label that as H. Yung deflection sa point B. And so, papalitan natin to ng H saka ito. And so, let's substitute these values dito. Magiging ganito. Yung M1 natin is 0. Yung L1 natin is 7. Now, you don't have to write this kasi alam mong you are multiplying by 0. However, I will just show you this solution para you will not be confused kung paano gamitin tong equation na to. And then next, plus 2 M2. Yung M2 natin is 2660 over 9 times L1 plus L2. Now, yung L1 natin is 7. And then yung L2 natin is itong 2. So, let's write that dito. L2 natin is 2. So, 7 plus 2 and then plus M3 L2. Yung M3 natin is 0. And then yung L2 natin is 2. And we already have values for this one. So, let's write that dito. Plus 4287.5 plus 45. And then that's equal to... 6EI times H over L1 which is 7 plus H over L2 which is 2 meters. Again, H ito because yung H1 saka H3 are equal. And then we are trying to find this distance. And so now, we can compute for H. Now, pwede mo gamitin yung shift solve ng calculator mo. And then just disregard EI. Just note na yung unit ng deflection is KNM cubed divided by EI. And so let's solve for H. Exclude mo na lang yung mga merong 0. Again, ito yung ano natin, itong H. And then disregard mo na lang tong EI. Pero kung given yung EI, you can substitute the values. And so ito na yung deflection natin, 2502.5 KNM cubed over EI. Ito na yung value for the deflection at point B. And so yung concept talaga dito is to pick two points na andyan sa support. Ito, itong values na to. Or to pick two points na along the same line. Now let's try to tackle more examples sa next videos natin. Para you will be familiar with the different cases. Kasi meron kasi tayong concept kung fixed support, kung overhanging beam, mga ganun.